Do developers get enough respect? That's one of the things that we really need to ask. Uh, there was a thread posted a little while back by uh, Matt, who is a great developer, saying the way that people treat wrestling developers. In this Twitter thread, he said, um, as developers, our job is to do exactly that, develop. We spend hours or even days of our lives producing spectacular pieces. What I mean is that once we produce something and create something spectacular, some federation owners or people in general decide to screw it up for us. What I mean is, what I mean by this is that we get told we're just a developer, or if we get into a fight with a fed owner that uses the builds that we make, they say your builds are, <laughs> and we never needed you. People are almost developing. Uh, people are almost demanding developers to create products as if it's something that are granted. Uh, content is being sold or treated terribly, including it being leaked. Developers are not getting enough recognition. You can be working. Uh, you can be working for them for five years or more, uh, but once they decide to end their Fed, it's like you never existed, and you are a piece of trash now. And why it's this is uh, this is how it's always been and how it always will continue to be. You just need to find the the rare gems that will treat you with respect, not as some tool. Uh, and then J M on the on the same thread. Uh, no developer is obligated to use their time for something that they do not think is worth their said time. What are you guys' thoughts on all this? So, um, I have a lot to say about this, because I have a lot of friends who are developers, like, people, or ex-developers, because of this same topic. Um, Dollar Omega and, Ar and Arx, um, they were, they're, they're, they're still in the community, but they just don't do they were treated extremely poorly, and I'll give them a few examples of this. Because, and I'll, actually, no. First, I want to say that um, arena making is pretty much art. Actually, it's literally art. It's something that the actual developers find like actually take pride in doing because it is. It really is an art, a form of art, and you know. Um, there really are very good developers out there that really that don't develop anymore because they uh they were treated extremely poorly. Now um let me give a few examples. Um Arts made um Stamps Hardy, you know, former NYX owner and racist and homophobe. Um he made Stamps an arena for NYX, which was the uh, the Hammerstein the Hammerstein Ballroom. And he he made it for stamps, and then after and it was for pay per view, so it was only used one time. So Ark started his Fed ECW and used the exact same arena that stamps that he gave to stamps. And stamps got extremely angry and leaked and leaked the arena and and assets for ECW like everywhere. And, and that's one of the main reasons that Arch doesn't do commissions anymore. Um, then uh, Dollar pretty Dollar pretty much stopped. He was treated very poorly by his um by the people he developed for. He used to develop for a lot of feds, and I can't remember which specific fed is what drove him, but he he got into an argument with the fed owner, and and then that just made him. Completely, all want to completely quit uh, developing. And, you know, uh, I read this back over again. Let me see here. Oh, and then yeah, the the recent, I think one of the most recent um, examples is what happened in EWF. Um, that's an example of arenas getting leaked. Like pretty much everything in EWF was made. I think it was made by one per. Yeah, it was made by Brock, right? Yeah, no Brock, idea, probably. It was made by Brock, and you know that's not in this, and that's not even a case of developers being. Actually, you know what it is. Not that I think about it, it is. In Brock, Brock on his end was not treated the way he wanted to, and he felt very lied to. Even though he may not have been in the right, he still. He still spent a lot of time and money on EWF, and and then Julius and then Julius did something that really set him off, and then he completely leaked almost every single thing in EWF, making a sing making um 
making a, ser a Discord server for everything in it. For everything. And, you know. I can, I can go with more examples. Like, Neo, freaking. He, he, he worked really hard with his developing. And even. And he just didn't get enough support on it. So he. He pulled. He. Like. Sorry. He. He released all his uh, all his assets from UXW to the uh, to the community, and he recently pulled them because you know he wasn't treated correctly. So I I just gave a few I just gave like pretty much most of the examples that I remember that I can remember off the top of my head right now. If anybody else has something to add on to it, like. Is Second AFK again? No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I feel like you've 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 uh worked in your own feds, right? Have you worked with developers? Listen, listen, bro. I'ma tell you this from now. Some of my best friends, like I consider them brothers. Uh, you know, mo some of my best friends, I consider family, bro. Are developers, and even if then we're not that close, bro. I always try to maintain a good relationship with my developers. You know why? Because that shit is hard, first of all. It is hard, it's time consuming, and it takes a lot of work and perfection. Like, I respect every developer I've ever talked to, bro, because you, you guys really deserve, deserve more praise. And I'm saying you guys because you, you is, you're a developer. And you're very, I, I think you're a very well, good developer, and you've, you've helped me with stuff before, and I really do appreciate it. I really do think that developers don't get enough love from this community. People really um don't play how hard developing is. Whether you're scripting, whether you're um you're making graphics, hell, even if you're making attires, people don't understand how how um hard it is. And I've experienced this firsthand, right? Because I used to be a title maker. I didn't. I don't really make titles anymore. But I used to make me a title maker, and I remember I worked for this production company, right? And I. I remember I used to get DMs by like a lot of people telling me, oh, you didn't make my title, blah, 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 blah. And, and I had like five orders back to back and I was trying, trying to ask them, can you be, please be patient? I'm working. I have my own life. I'm trying to, I'm, I'll, I'll get to your title soon, but I'm busy right now and people are in front of you. And they were talking the worst things to me, bro. And I, I just, I got fed up and I said I wasn't going to do anything else for any anybody else. And... The way that I have respect for these developers that take their time out to help the community it is crazy. And and it's just, I don't know, bro. I, I don't understand why we don't give developers our love. The, the, question, the question becomes now, um, how, do we, how do we show respect to them? Give them credit, first of all. Treat them like people. Treat them like human beings. Humanize them. Talk to them. They're people too. They don't just want to build stuff for you, bro. Sometimes they just want to. If if you're if you're a fed owner and you have your own developers, sometimes they just want to talk to you, bro. That's why I always try to be, have a friendly relationship with my developers, cause you know sometimes it's not just about developing; it's about having a good relationship with them. Yeah, I I think uh, them nostalgia was is another example of that because you know. She has been very vocal about, uh, you know, doing stuff for people, but then not getting that same, the same way she treats them. She doesn't get that same, that same way in return for, you know, like the only time that people will ask her for a commission and then they will not talk to her once unless it's, uh, unless it's like asking her when it's going to be done. Like, you know. Uh, it's like the amount of time spent on something doesn't equivalent to the amount of respect that someone should get for doing that. Exactly. exactly. And, and you know, like I, I always try and like you gotta. I can't say it before. You gotta respect that this stuff takes a lot of time. And actually, if I, may, I think I, I think like, I should speak a little. Uh, sorry, 
I just, I, a, I don't mean to interrupt, but like I, I lose my train of thought quickly. I just want to, if I make, cause like I do own my own commission server, and I, you know, now that I think about it, I literally have two servers right now dedicated to doing commissions, and I, I not only do themes, trons, arenas, uh, I really do it all, and I, I feel like I should probably speak about my experience, just cause like it's, it's, uh, it, it's a thankless job being a developer, um, and even though you're getting paid to do something, sometimes, sometimes, well, I mean, developers as in for feds, they don't really get paid, so that's a whole different thing. But for me, someone who is getting paid, um, and you, you're not you're not and you're not you're not really owed anything but like um it is it is kind of thankless if you think about it i don't know it's just kind of something i i I came up with yeah you know like it's not even just it's not even just like like stage and arena developers it's just any type of developer like the tires the titan every single thing like there's a reason that you're buying the stuff from them and it's because you can't do it yourself. Like, you understand that you not you're not doing it yourself because, like, you know, oh hi, Kai. Like, you're not doing it yourself because you know it's hard and you don't take that time to do it yourself because you find it easier to do it to have them do it for you. And you gotta understand that because if you're not gonna be able to do it yourself, just imagine how hard it is for them. So just respect that because, listen, like. Let them take their time. Like, as long as you get it, like, as long as you get it, like, do not, it's not a problem. Like, if you need it by a specific time and they can't get it done by that time, then, like, at least tell them that. Like, if they if they don't think they're going to be able to get it done by that time, respect their decision and don't go, like, go on a whole rant on them saying that they, that they shouldn't be doing commissions for people and that they don't freaking deserve all the stuff that they've done. Like, just move on and respect the decision and go like you there's plenty of other people out there that you know like actually and you know what that's the issue like i can't even say that there's plenty of different people out there anymore because of how the people have been treated that nobody wants to do it anymore you know like i i i was gonna have my own fed i was trying to make my own fed but I couldn't find a developer. I couldn't. I couldn't find anyone because they're all. They all either left or don't want to do anything anymore. Yeah, that's that's real. I I and I can speak onto that, bro. I'm just, just. I'm grateful. I have two of my closest friends are developers that actually want to work for me and help me with these with my feds and everything I've done. I really do appreciate them because I understand how hard it is not feel appreciated as a developer and i make sure to try and make my developers know they're appreciated like all right ace for example i always used to ask ace for the tiniest of shit shit when it comes to graphics because i could barely do graphics at the time i always tried to make sure that ace knew i appreciated what he was doing and i never tried to rush him i always tried to respect his time is that right ace can, can you watch that yeah yeah man uh pleasant experience that stuff keeps exactly. me coming back, you know? Like, if I'm, if, if, uh, if, like, people are always, like, thinking about, like, how do I, how do I get a developer? They get a developer, and, uh, you, they're, like, oh, they always complain about their developer not doing shit, or just, like, not working hard enough. You know, if you treat them properly, they will have the same passion that you do. It's, like, the reason that, like, because, uh, like, uh, a lot of, uh, fed owners who can't develop and need a developer, the reason that, like, you, the reason why you're shuffling between developers is most definitely because you're probably not treating them right. If you don't treat, because they're not getting paid, you know, treat them properly. And even if they are getting paid, they're not going to care about whatever you want if you don't show the same respect. This is also universal, you know? Universal with anything, if, like, you know, um, yeah. store clerk in front of you, it's, like, you know, if you gotta, a lot of these videos are like, we try to, it, it, it's become like universal, really. It's just like, you guys get what I mean, you know? Yeah, I understand, bro. And then some people will have this mindset in real life, bro, that they can just bitch and complain for anything if they don't get it. And that's what happens in society sometimes. Like, they, they just don't understand that respect is a two-way street. If you treat someone good, if you, if you treat someone well, they'll treat you back with respect. You don't just come and demand everything, even though sometimes you may be upset and maybe you might be in the right, but it doesn't never, it never gives you the, the excuse to be disrespectful to anyone if they're not disrespectful to you first. The never, you should never do that, bro. Never. Yeah. I'm just going to repeat what I said again. Like, I, think I said it already. I'm just going to repeat what I said. 
doesn't just like if you're gonna ask them like if they're taking a little while like you know like it's fine to ask them like how's it going like how how it's looking so far just just ask how they're doing though too like like it's understand like do not only just talk to them because you want the thing like try to have a good conversation with them you don't you shouldn't only talk to them because you want the you want whatever they're making like like you know what i'm saying huh? it's not understand that's what i always try to do and I'm not trying to brag or anything, but that's why developers always tell me that they don't really charge me for anything because I actually treat them like persons. And I kind of find it kind of kind of sad, bro. Because like, what I like, I'm they, it's like this rare occurrence that I'm treating them like a human and trying to be their friend rather than just seeing them as someone that can do do shit. And it, it makes me sad, bro. They should really treat them with more respect because they're really cool people. I can name you all the devs I know right now, and they're cool. Um, Ark's cool. Drew, Drew Petit, he's cool, if you don't piss him off. Sarah, she's cool. Uh, Ace, he's really cool. Let's see. Um, Zach, Zach is really cool. Engine's cool. Someone's cool. Teddy's cool. Um, uh, let's see. Any, am I saying anyone else? Um, Dollar's cool as well. All these guys are cool people. Like, I don't understand. And Santo. Santo is cool too. So all these guys are really BSB, cool. BSB. People. Oh, and BSB. Oh, BSB is cool too. I, I love BSB. So yeah, all these guys are really cool people, and it's just sad that we don't show them any love. And if I may end up with something, it's just just remember the golden rule, bro. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you.